Okay. So this is the Hoffman voltameter. It's used to pass electricity through water. So down at the bottom we have two electrodes, a positive which we'll make red and the negative which we'll make black. We're going to connect that to the low voltage supply over here. We can vary the voltage. Uh, we're going to actually use quite a high voltage. We're going to use 12 volts. Uh, the tubes themselves uh, have got water in them, so they're completely full. It's kind of difficult to see, so I'll put a piece of paper there and be able to see it a bit more clearly. So with a piece of paper in, you can see perhaps that the water is just up to this level. And these two tubes are completely full and uh, they're full of water this is all that's in these tubes is water they're joined across the bottom so across here they're joined and here we have what we call electrodes they're actually made out of platinum uh, platinum is a very unreactive metal uh, but a very good conductor of electricity so let's uh, switch it on and let's see what happens uh, to do that we need to connect the wires so the black one needs to be connected to the black and the red one to the red, the red being positive and the black being negative. We've already got it set to 12 volts, so if we flip the switch, we have a look to see what happens. And straight away you might be able to see uh, some bubbles of gas being produced at both of the electrodes. All right, so both of them are producing a gas. Those bubbles of gas will pass up but they can't escape because the taps are switched off so the gases are just going to collect in the top part of the tubes here and we'll come back to them in a few minutes and just have a look to see how much gas has been produced when we look at the bottom here we can see that both electrodes are producing quite a lot of bubbles uh, and as we go up towards the top of the tube uh, we can see that on the left hand side this is the positive one uh, we've not actually got to the scale yet but on this side oh, we've got quite a lot of gas so there's actually more being produced at the negative electrode than there is at the positive so we'll leave it a little bit longer and uh, we'll see what gases have been produced the experiment's been running for a few minutes now and you can see we've got quite a lot more gas in the right hand side tube than we have in the left hand side. Uh, so we'll come back to it a little bit later on and see how it's going. The experiment's been running for quite a while now and you can see there's about twice as much gas in the tube on the right as there is in the tube on the left. So the tube on the right is the, the negative one, it's the one we've colour coded black. And the one on the left is the red one, which is the positive. So what we're going to do now is to see if we can identify these gases. So we're going to actually collect the gas. And all we do for that is to put a test tube over the top of the one that's got the most gas in. And then we're going to open the tap and see if we can identify it. First of all, let's just open the tap and as you'll see the water level will go up as the gas goes up into the tube. We now have a tube of this gas and we're going to just put a lighted splint near to the end of it and see if we can get a squeaky pop. That gas is hydrogen. We don't have very much of the other gas. I'm just going to blow out this splint and just hold it above the nozzle there. I've got to go out and let's see if we can relight it. Just open the tap and the splint relights. When we relight a glowing splint we know we've got oxygen present. So we've just shown that the tube on the right had hydrogen and the tube on the left had oxygen. We had about twice as much hydrogen as we did oxygen. That should mean something to you. 
What's the formula of water? H2O. Twice as much hydrogen, H2, and just one oxygen. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.